Look at it, John. Look at it! This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, man. Just let me go out there. Let me get one wave. One wave. About to vibe this week. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Wavy. I know this is my channel, Mr. Orchard Beach. If you're new to the channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what you think I'm gonna ask you to do next? I keep watching the video. Now, yo, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. Hey, boy, fresh up off this vacay, man. I know, I know. Last week was crazy. I haven't posted in a while. I did do the sneaker rotation number 63. 64 is gonna be back to back. I'll put those links up there i'll try to i was in north carolina last week for two days then i went to santo domingo for five and i haven't been posting anything but what better video to really come back out with than a what would i rock so everybody knows that the jordan 13 bread joints they dropped this saturday by the time y'all see this it will be saturday hopefully low willing i'm not copping i never had them before quick back on track on them i believe back in 2004 when they re-released again i was supposed to go pick them up shout out to my man d he was supposed to come scoop us mad early and stuff so we can go to the px and, and cop them joints well, i had to call his crib like yo what's up man come scoop so me and my boy um we jumped in with d went to the px because the px used to have them joints for like 120 no tax so anyway when we over we like yo man what took so long man we got to get there early he telling us tomorrow nah, Nah, man, it's all good. All the GIs are at work. That is the dumbest I have ever. <laughs> we wasn't worried about the GIs getting there. We worried about it was like us getting there. You know, we didn't get them. They had them at the mall for like the buck fifty. I ain't want to pay. So, and then when they re-released again, didn't want them again. So they had nice sneakers. They pretty cool. But you already know what it is, man. You got the sneaks in hand. How you gonna produce them, them? It's one thing to cop, but then it's another thing when them sneakers is rocking you. Here on my channel, I help y'all figure out how to rock them sneaks and not let them rock you. Word. It's about to not be short weather for us up here. We don't live in Florida, sadly, so you yeah, know. Let's go comfortable first. Joggers, sweats. I'm gonna go black, of course. You can go red. For me, the red is kind of like a <laughs> little too much, but yeah, you can do that. You can do some camo, olive, definitely. Track pants. Minimal LA was supposed to be restocking on their track pants middle August or whatever, but they still haven't. But yo, I've been seeing some fly joints, the black with the red stripe, the red with the black stripe breaks off that monotony. But let me tell you something, and I don't know where I found this. If I do see it, I'm gonna post a picture of it up there. But just remember, Minimal LA, they got their joints, they about 54 bucks. I'm still waiting on them to drop theirs. I was thinking the other day, I was like, yo, they need to come out with some with the stripe on the inside. And lo and behold, they have some out, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like I was coming up with something new, but yeah, black with the red on the inside coming up, red on the outside, yeah, yeah, that'll flex right there. If we talking jeans, we can go light, we can go black, of course, indigo, nice, right there. Moving on with that, let's go to Sneaker Tea Companies. First company I'm gonna go to is, of course, X Gear 101, where you can cop this Pablo cap. Oh, Pablo, you can't cop this Pablo though, but oh, you can cop this Pablo dad cap right here. And you can use my discount code WAVY and save 20% off your next purchase. All right, so here I'm gonna be talking about the joints that I like. First off, I do like that camo joint with the boss symbol. That joint's pretty cool. Nice chill joint though. Make sure your bottoms are kind of solid and solid meaning solid in color as well as the statement. Cause that's just a chill joint, you know? I like the certified chief joint. Reminds me like certified thief, you know what I'm saying? I still, I don't kill. They even have these in the sweatshirts. I ain't talking about sweatshirts really right now cause it ain't really that weather. But if you do want to be ahead of the times, I guess you can go ahead and cop one of those too. Where's Brooklyn at? About an hour and a half down that way with the D train. Oh, yo, they got a Brooklyn tee. What's up with the Bronx, man? Why y'all keep leaving the Bronx out, man? But nah, yo, they got a Brooklyn tee. That joint is, that joint is official right there too. Shout out to Jason in Brooklyn. All my Brooklyn cats out. One of my favorite tees that they do have and they've had them in different colorways is the God Cash Lawyers. I love the pillar of what it stands for. You know, you got the most high. Then you need that dough. If anything goes wrong after that, Get your lawyer. My cousin Vinny. And last but not least on the tees, I skip 101, got the original Roughneck, the OG joint. It's all right, like a chill. Work. Since we are at X Gear 101, yo, the dad caps, Pablo joint, that joint's hard. They got a few other boss dad caps that kind of cool, but uh, when it comes to the black and red, I think I think this one's the best one, word. All right, moving on, we're gonna go to Sneakerhead NYC, where you can use my discount. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something's missing, right? Needed that, boy. Woo! The amount of liquor that we drank down in DR, bruh. Woo! Anyway, for anybody new to the channel, that's called Wavy Magic. You know what I'm saying? Just I do that. Oh, shit. Sneakerhead NYC. They got the black tee with the red sneakerhead logo. 
Join I right there. And since my man's from Brooklyn, you already know they got that Brooklyn T in bloody letters. Join her right there. I would have saved this for the jerseys, but since we're already there, let's go ahead and get this out the way. They got the party and bull dish jersey. You can either get that joint in black with the pinstripes or get the red joint. I go black with the pinstripes with that one. I ain't go front. Next up, we got Ill Currency. First T. It's a chill joint, the crispy kicks. I like it, it's all right. Uh, what I cop, probably not, but it's a, it's a nice chill joint. Next shirt, they got the sole of the 13s. Those are all right, you know what I'm saying? Chill joint again. I think like they best tee, and I keep seeing these in different colorways, is the one with the lips. They got the red lips with the green grill, the black tee. Last but not least, representing Queens, we got effects clothing. They got a jersey, they got a stack of money joint, and if you don't want to spend that 100 bucks, well, minus my discount code, so it'll be a little cheaper. My map off though, maybe like $75 or something with a sneak at MRC. But anyway, if you didn't want to spend the 75 plus or whatever, you want to spend around 50, they got a stacking dollars jersey. I would probably go ahead and rock with the sneak at NYC just to tell the truth, but I ain't trying to step on the toes. Above the rest, I love this joint right here. The next 50% sale they got, please believe I'm copping that joint right there. Speaking of, man, I think I need a discount code with them. What's up, man? I like all they movie themed tees pretty much. They juice joint, never fold under pressure. That was a hard joint when Bishop was in the interrogation room just chilling, smoking a bogey, laughing in the detective's face because he knew they ain't had nothing. He was snitching on Rodham mess. And I ain't telling cops. Damn, and last but not least, every dog has his day. Scarface joint. Joint hard right there too. And matter of fact, while we talking about effectors, if I did cop these joints right here, how would I produce them? Spit it out. I'm not set on the pants yet, really. But it would either be black or indigo. I would get that effectors clothing tee from above the rim. I go to First Stop Fashion. I get the windbreaker camo joint and I top it off with a Chicago Blackhawks fitted. And I throw that red Gucci belt on too, just for safe keep. That's my vision right there. But I'm legally blind. But anyway, yo, keep it moving. Let's go to Joyzies. Chicago Bulls, you can't lose, you know what I'm saying? Same joy, get the black joy with the stripes, or you can get the red one. The Chicago Blackhawks, even if you didn't want to get a Blackhawks jersey, you can go with like tees and stuff like that. Staying in that black red realm is cool, but if you could find something with that hint of lime green in it, not all lime green, slow down, Bam. I know what you say, oh boy, I got that Fubu Platinum boy. No, nah, chill. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't need that. If you could find that, those hits of that lime green, which I believe the Chicago Blackhawks brings to the table. Yeah, you good right there. I'm wondering if people are gonna say New Jersey Devils. That's cool. You know me, I just go off what I pick. Soccer jerseys. I like the AC Milan joint. I like the Eintracht Frankfurt. It ain't just because I copped it, because now I'm about to take it to that other level. I'm gonna reverse the script. They got a 2015 Portugal away jersey. That joint is hard. I even saw that joint in kids too. So if any mothers out there trying to figure out how, how your little man or daughter can shut down the class for, you know what I'm saying, for a good, Wednesday or Friday, that jersey right there coming and coming kids too. That Portugal away joint. The joint's hard. It got all it got the colors in it. You see it up there. Fitters and caps, Chicago Bulls, Chicago Blackhawks, dad caps, black and red, staying in that realm. Anybody copying these joints, man? Yo, these joints are hard. I was looking at this uh this T right here. This will go with it. Cause you know how they got the 3M when you take the picture. This damn it looks like some 3M, you know what I'm saying? First off, fashion had this like a couple years back. I like to thank everybody that's been rocking with the channel for real. I'm like 30 something, maybe like 28 or something like that away from 7k hopefully by the end of this weekend i hit that 7k i'll be on midsole monday on the 28th so any wave mob you know what i'm saying i'd appreciate it if y'all be there it's cool i'm not you know I, and i understand you know because i just started watching like the the chats and stuff like that you know sometimes it'd be on days like i ain't got like two hours to be especially after i do my editing and all that stuff that'd be the last thing on my mind, you know, now, you know, I'll be wanting to get outside, you know what I'm saying, check out some things. When I do hit that 7K, I will do a toast. I got a special bottle. I will also do a toast. Well, I'll be drinking on that Minnesota Monday, man. I ain't gonna front. And I'm just gonna keep the content coming. Got my North Carolina trip. Uh, it's just gonna be a, like bouncing around and stuff like that, but it's gonna be like y'all y'all with me. Of course, we got the DR trip. DR was nice, brother, nice. I remember how hype I was, the, well, not the first time, but last time I went, boy, everything was, it was popping. Club don't let out to 6.30 in the morning, brother. I'm out there like, oh my God. But anyway, man, yeah, man, we're just gonna keep it moving, man. And yo, I thank y'all for getting me up there to the 7K. One thing I, I do wanna speak on again, the shout outs. If you hit me up and you be like, yo, can you shout me out on this 
specific day. I'll try my best too. You know, life happens and it might be like, oh, my birthday on a Sunday. I don't really drop this on a Sunday like that. You'll get it, but if it's if it's not that day, it's just not that day. You know, uh, last time I told somebody, yeah, and that was the day that we ended up um, burying my aunt. I haven't really seen any comments from that person, so let me just put out instead of just being on some um, getting on some bullshit and being like, yo, I ain't doing it no more. That's just the disclaimer. You uh, anybody want to shout on your on your born day and stuff like that? All that I'm John about like, yo, shout my channel out and stuff. The best thing for y'all to do is. Hit up Crew Kicks. You let them know, yo, Kais, uh, yo, Mike Rich, yo, Damn D. I know he ain't gonna do it, but uh, <laughs> shout out to Damn D. Yeah, just tell them. Tell them they got the, they got the people. You know what I mean? Anyway, man, before I get off on the tangent, yo. <laughs> Woo. As all, shout out though, your birthday and stuff like that. It'll be, it, it'll be somewhere around the area, but I ain't gonna forget about y'all. But just know life is life and sometimes shit don't go that way. And with that being said, about to get up out of here. Last thing I wanna ask y'all to do is if y'all know any other ways that y'all gonna rock the joint, please put in the description below. You know, any other jerseys and stuff, y'all be turning me on the new stuff, even if I'm not copping them. And this doesn't just help me, it helps everybody else. Y'all already know how the wave mine gets down, man. Don't keep all the flavor for yourself, man. Sprinkle us a bit. Or also, can we get this video to 300 likes? 300 likes. Thank you for the other vid. We surpassed that, but that's a phone positive vid. This is a Jordan joint. So I'm just asking for 300 likes if y'all could do that for me. Word. It's your boy Wavy. You already know this is my channel, Mr. Orchard Beach. Like I always like to say, see you when I see you. Out. When it comes to getting fresh, I'm an expert. Stan Smith's men in short shades and the fresh shirt. Unemployed, just yell at your boys. You could get work. Looking up to us for so long that they're next.